Hi everyone, Paul here again. Thanks for joining. Uh, I thought I'd bring you up to date on the latest project on Edenismo. Uh, this project, believe it or not, started almost nine months ago. It was only supposed to be a short uh, two or three month project, but it wound up uh, dragging on a little bit longer. But the uh, final result turned out to be uh, really amazing and I hope you, you liked it. As any of you know, on boats, there never seems to be enough storage, uh, especially if you're going to be living aboard and going away for any length of time. So although Edenismo has quite a bit of storage already built in, uh, a lot of it is not easily accessed on a regular basis, and you can always uh, use more storage. So I tried to find an area where I could do something without imposing too much on the living area, but still have quick access and easy access to things like even water toys or any things that I could use just for entertaining along the boat as I'm uh, traveling on my uh, travels. So um, I found an area on the flybridge that would accommodate a large storage box that I could put all kinds of things in. It would be a very useful area. And I could hang it on the outside of the flybridge railing, which would not interfere with my movement on the flybridge itself. Unfortunately, when I did some research, I couldn't find anything off the shelf that would even come close to fitting properly or uh, doing what I needed it to do. So I went in search of someone that could actually make me one, a custom one, just for my application. And I was introduced to uh, Doug Barber. Uh, he's, he's a carbon fiber and fiberglass expert. He's been doing that pretty much his whole life. He's done everything from build helicopter blades to prosthetics for amputees to he actually has built race boats from scratch and has won awards with all the work that he's done. So he's pretty much an expert in carbon fiber and fiberglass work and does a really, really great job. So I talked to him about it. He came out and looked at the project. And even though he's a very busy man, he likes a challenge and he thought it would be a fun project to do. And so we decided to embark on this little project uh, together. Uh, it doesn't sound like much just building a storage box, but when you see the detail of what he had to do to make it work out, uh, you'll see what all that was involved. So I'll show you a little bit of the steps and I won't make it too long and drawn out, but hopefully you'll like the project. He actually laminated the boat itself and he built the bottom of this box to match the actual shape of the flybridge uh, floor. And so this way it's totally self-supporting. Uh, you could stand inside the box and it's not going anywhere and it'll hold uh, anything you want to put in there. And then we built some nice, beautiful stainless steel racks that go on the outside that'll hold up the two paddle boards and then they fold out of the way when you're not using them. And I think you'll see a few of the features that are in it. It's a pretty impressive little box if I do say so myself. So I hope you liked the little uh, short video. And um, if you like the video and this content, please like and subscribe to the channel. I have a few more projects on the way and then hopefully finding that elusive uh, crew member to go with me on my travels. And hopefully in the next few months here, we'll be taking off. Uh, it's been taking a little bit longer than I had planned on, but hopefully here in the next few months, we'll start off and then I'll have some travel videos going out to the Bahamas, Caribbean, uh, eventually over to French Polynesia, Australia, New Zealand, and maybe even make it over to uh, Southeast Asia for one of these days. So anyway, thanks again for watching and I hope you liked the video. The first step was to form a foundation for the box. Uh, it had to match the shape and angles of the flybridge uh, floor very accurately or else uh, it would not be supported the way it needed to be. So that was actually the most crucial stage of the whole project. So after marking out the area on the flybridge where the box was supposed to go, they had to take some fiberglass uh, sheets and then put, impregnate them with some resin so that they could uh, laminate the whole area uh, where the box was actually going to go. So they took those sheets and eventually moved them up to uh, the flybridge and made the exact template of what the shape would be for the bottom of the box. Once that cured, uh, they removed it and that became the foundation of what they laminated later on to make the uh, box floor and then build the remainder of the box from that template.
After several months of fabrication in the shop, it was time for the moment of truth. Uh, they brought the box out to the boat. Uh, of course, it's never been tried before, and hopefully all the measurements and all the lamination and everything in the preparation was done properly, and hopefully it fits because there's really no going back at this point. So the guys had a lot of anticipation. Uh, first, how they were going to get it up there. Uh, luckily, uh, the measurements were enough that it fit right up the uh, stairs of the flybridge. Uh, otherwise, we would have to get something to suspend it and uh, lift it up to... Uh, which would have been a lot harder than uh, just walking it up the flybridge. So very carefully and gingerly, uh, we had several guys uh, take the box up and hope for the best once we got to the uh, top. And I think you'll see it uh, turned out pretty well. Once the box was finally in place, uh, we held it together with some uh, ropes just to keep it from uh, falling off the boat. Uh, I think everyone, including Doug, was very happy that all the measurements and all the pre-planning had worked out very perfectly. Uh, as you can tell, the box fits 
just like a glove and will hold in that position uh, for as long as it needs to. Well, because it was a custom project, all the hardware to hold it onto the boat and to fasten it all had to be custom made and installed once it was on the boat. So Doug spent the next uh, two or three days getting everything uh, finished up for me so that it would uh, work as we had designed. All of the uh, other hardware for the paddle boards, uh, that was all custom designed by another person called Steve Lippincott. Uh, he's done some other work on Edenismo for me, and he does a really great uh, work. He does everything from canvas work to metal work, fiberglass also. Uh, he's a really good engineer and designer. So he built those paddle board holders for me um, for the specific paddle boards that I have. And they also fold out of the way in case uh, I'm not using paddle boards at that particular time. The top was custom made also and had uh, weather stripping put on it. It uh, just had a little architectural design. We put a raised uh, detail on it to give it a little more interior volume and just make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Uh, once all that hardware was put on, we tested everything and it seemed to work out uh, just the way we had planned. So all in all, the uh, project I could not be happier with. Uh, everything from the fit finish to the design was just uh, flawless. So thanks again to everybody involved and I hope you liked the project.